Hello guys! Welcome to my channel. Ngayon ang topic natin is about ETA or Estimated Time of Arrival. From the word itself, ang hinahanap natin ay yung T which stands for time. Para makuha yung formula, dapat alam natin ng pinaka-basic formula which is D is equal to S times T. D stands for distance, S stands for speed, and T is for time. So, since hinahanap natin yung time, ililipat natin tong speed sa kabila. Paano? We will divide both sides of the equation by speed. So, divided by speed, divided by speed. Cancel this one. Ang matitira sa atin ay distance over speed is equal to time. Or simply, T is equal to D over S. Maliwanag. Example, from point A going to point B. The distance is 1,000 nautical miles. And our average speed will be, let's say, 15.0 knots. Now we have the D. We also have the S, distance and speed. We'll just need to divide to get the time. Time is equal to 1,000 nautical miles divided by 15.0 knots or also nautical miles per hour. So cancel nautical miles, matitira yung unit of time natin which is hour. Calculator, 1,000 divided by 15, we will have 66.67 hours. 66.67 hours. Tapos na ba dito computation natin? Hindi pa. Convert natin siya ngayon sa the date and the time. Time in hours and minutes. So how to do it? In one day, we have 24 hours. So, the answer will be divided by 24 so that we can get the number of days. So, this whole number here means the number of whole days from the time of calculation. So, we write down, we have 2 days. Now, we remove this whole number. And multiply this by 24 to get the fraction of day that we have. So, the whole number here indicates the hour. So, we have 18 hours. Then, we remove again the whole number. The remaining value here will be our minutes. So, to get the minutes, we multiply it by 60. Because in one hour, we have 60 minutes. So multiply by 60 and we will get 40 minutes. So the total time that we traveled from point A to point B is 2 days, 18 hours, and 40 minutes. Are we finished with this calculation? Not yet. Normally, we compute for ETA, we have a departure time. Departure time. Let's say, for example, the departure time is March 14, 2023. Say 12 o'clock. Local time. Regardless, kung nasaan man tayo, we will talk about it later. Pag magkaiba na yung 
time zone. Right now, we are dealing with same time zone. We have March 14, 2023 at noon time for our departure time from point A. Then we have this 2 days, 18 hours, 40 minutes steaming time until we reach point B. What do we need to do is just add this answer to the existing condition. So, departure time is March 14 at 12 o'clock. Our answer a while ago is 2 days. So, we just align it with the existing condition. So, this is days. Hours and minutes. Answer a while ago, 2 days, 18 hours, and 40 minutes. Just add the value. So, we do it by part. Start for mi from minutes. 0 minutes plus 40 minutes is 40 minutes. 12 hours plus 18 hours is 30 hours. 14 days plus 2 days, 16 day, 16. So this is the day. However, for our time here, the hour part, we only have 24 hours per day. So what do we do? We subtract 24 hours from this time. So subtract 24. We will have, again, 40 minutes here. This is 6 hours and the hour that we subtracted is equal to 1 day we will move it here we will add it to the day so we have plus 1 17 now we have the final answer our ATA March 17 2023 at 06 Four zero hours local time so that's all guys sana intindahan nyo yung explanation ko sana malinaw sana may natutunan kayo so good luck sa inyong pag-aaral magdasal and best of luck thank you bye bye